Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to look at the poem The Net by Julie O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan was born in Chicago in 1954 and has lived in Ireland since 1974. She lives in Nice, County Kildare. What are the different meanings of the word net? What is the word net short for? So first of all, a net is used to trap animals. The net is the short word for the internet. School reunions is the main topic of this poem. So have you ever attended a school reunion? How were all the classmates contacted? Did everyone attend? And most of all, did you enjoy it? Stanza 1. The net. I am the lost classmate, being hunted down the super highways and byways of infinite cyberspace. How long can I evade the class committee searching for my lost self? I am the lost classmate. This person is under the heading of lost classmate in the school reunion website, which is being used to contact everyone to attend. I am being hunted down she feels like a wild animal and she feels like the committee of people who are actually trying to organize the school reunion are hunting her. What she means by hunting her, it's almost like they are stalking her on the internet, trying to get her to come to their school reunion. She's been hunted down the super highway. The information super highway refers to digital communication systems and the internet telecommunications network. I'm being hit, hunted down the super highways and byways. Highways, major roads. Byways, minor roads. So basically what she's saying here, the classmates are using the major internet sites and the minor internet sites to try and find her. Basically, they're using every way possible to try to find her on the internet. Super highways, of course, then would be almost like futuristic road systems. And the super highway refers to the internet. Infinite, infinite cyberspace. As we know, cyberspace, the internet, has no boundaries or limits. It is infinite. So they are searching for her in infinite cyberspace. Again, cyberspace refers to electronic communication. So the class committee are using every way possible to try and contact this girl to bring her to her school reunion. She asks, how long can I evade? How long can I escape or avoid these people? How long more can I get away with not being caught? So how can I evade the class committee searching for my lost self? She imagines, or she compares, the class committee to a crowd of hunters who are trying to follow her on the internet. And she's thinking, how long more can I avoid them? Stanza 2. I watch the list of found classmates grow by the month. Corralled into a hotel ballroom, festooned with 70s paraphernalia. So I watched the list of found classmates grow by the month. So she keeps checking in every month and she realizes that each month more and more classmates are in the heading of found classmates on the school reunion website. She feels that if she goes to this school reunion, she will be corralled, meaning to put some livestock in a corral, fences like this, and if you say she feels like she will be corralled at the school reunion, I guess she's saying she feel like she is together with a large group of people, but feeling trapped, almost claustrophobic, into a hotel ballroom. So she imagines the night of the reunion, all her schoolmates will be corralled like animals, forced like animals, into a place where she would not want to be because corralled means she would feel trapped. She said this hotel ballroom will be festooned. It will have too many decorations over the top. So this would be a negative word, meaning everything was over the top, too much 
festooned with 70s paraphernalia. So basically, the organisers of the school reunion are going to use 70s items, posters, pictures of musicians such as, you know, Afro hairstyles, disco music, flower power, flare trousers and all of that. Basically, they're going to decorate the whole room with 70s paraphernalia. And of course, she uses the word festooned, meaning it's going to be too much and she wouldn't actually like to be in that situation. So a question to consider right now, describe the scene that she expects to find at her reunion. Stanza three, bombarded with atmospheric hit tunes, the captured classmates from Sullivan High School will celebrate 30 years of freedom from each other. The word bombarded is a very strong word to use to describe the type of music they will be playing. So to bombard is to attack a place or person continuously with bombs, shells or other missiles. For example, the city was bombarded. So she imagines listening to that loud 70s music is going to feel like bombs falling in her ears. The school reunion will be bombarded with atmospheric hit tunes. Again, she imagines going to that party and they will be playing 70s music. People such as ABBA, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, The Stones, The Jacksons. And she would not like to hear this music. She feels it would be bombarding her ears. Now, this is interesting. The captured classmates from Sullivan High School. Well, as we said in the beginning, she was born in America, moved to Ireland then some 20 years later. So she went to high school in America. She's checking in on the website and she's calling the people who have agreed to go to this or who have been found by the committee, the captured classmates. Remember, you capture an animal, you continue following him and then you catch him. So she feels that the committee have been following these people, stalking them and hunting them on the internet and has they have managed to capture them into this website. And these people, the captured ones, the ones who actually go to the party, will celebrate 30 years, 30 year reunion. They will celebrate 30 years of freedom from each other. She's been very, very sarcastic here. Basically, she's saying nobody really wants to be there and they're just pretending that they've all missed each other. But in reality, they've actually enjoyed <laughs> the past 30 years because they have actually been free. They have been free from each other. That's how she feels anyway. Thank God I haven't had to be with those people for 30 years. So instead of saying they're celebrating 30 years of missing each other, she's saying they're celebrating 30 years of freedom from each other. Question, why does she call them captured classmates? Again, you could notice alliteration here. K, k, kind of harsh C sound, the repeated C sound here which shows her feeling. She really doesn't want to be there at all. So the captured classmates from Sullivan High School, she imagines that the committee are using a net or actually in the form of the net to capture all these people like a hunter would capture animals. Question, what does her phrase 30 years of freedom from each other Tell us about her attitude to her old school friends. Stanza four. I peek at the message board. My locker partner out in California looks forward to being reunited with her old school chums. So our poet speaks at the message board. So again, she keeps checking in on the message board on the internet website where the guys are organizing the class reunion. And to peek is to look quickly at something. So it's interesting that even though she wasn't, she doesn't want to go, she keeps going back and checking. Hmm, who's going? Hmm, who did, they, who did they still not catch? She's still curious about it all. 
my locker partner so yeah over in the states all the students share a locker with one other person so she sees a message on the message board from her locker partner who is living out in california and this locker partner has written down that she looks forward to being reunited to be together again excuse me with her old school chums chums being kind of a slang word for friends question what does her locker partner think of the event final stanza stanza five wearing a disguise i calculate the number of months left for me to do what i do best what i have always done slip through the net okay so in stanza five she decides to wear a disguise Obviously, wearing a disguise <laughs> means changing your appearance to hide your identity, possibly. So she keeps checking in on the website, but she doesn't check in as herself. She's coming up with like an alias or like a fake profile. I calculate the number of months left. So every time she checks the website, she's checking how many more months before this school reunion actually happens for me to do what I do best. So she calculates how many more months do I have left in order for me to do what I do best, what I have always done, slip through the net. So she said they can catch everybody else in their net, but they're not going to catch me. I'm going to do what I have always done. I'm going to slip through the net i'm not going to allow them to catch me also to not be caught by a system that should be catching you or protecting you so again the title the net comes into play here as well she's going to avoid these people as she has always avoided them so the poet understands the fact that the internet can have a disturbing dimension and we are living in an age where the individual's right to privacy is being eroded by technology. It's harder and harder and harder for people not to find us because of technology. So question, why does she need to wear a disguise on the internet and how would she do this? Some questions to think about. Do you think the poet had happy school days? Why or why not? What kind of person do you think the speaker of the poem is? And finally, do you think that this poem is sad or funny? If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and even share.